I think he's one of the best jacklers, and I'm not sure in world rugby. I thought what's quite interesting, the bit of growth in him, was when he came back, we always do the differential, you know, he concedes, concedes, gets five steals, concedes three. So it's plus two, which is great. You know, it's, I think Swayster to Brain does that exercise. But I actually find him really well disciplined at the breakdown now. I know there's one today. His decision making there is excellent. And he's a leader and he buys into the cause. He's a real leader. I mean, he's great support for Stephen. Um, ultimate province man. And then one of the great things was we played the guys at Clip before we played the Bulls uh, a couple of weeks ago, or months ago. And we showed that tackle of Scott Berg on Free Dupree uh, in the 2009 semi final. And there we were, the guys are watching, they think, hang on. There's, there's brothers and there's Brock. And both on the field. <laughs> so just what they've got that institution of the really, some really good days of province rugby, you know, the 2000s, many, we went through some, we have, we're still in administration, as Will said. And that, that nice tradition and past of us, it's great to have guys like this, but he's, he's, can't speak highly enough of him. And he's staying, he's playing for, he's, we've extended his contract. He seems to be better age, I mean, it's, yeah. it's amazing. I, I said, don't ask me tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'll, push, I'll be questioning myself tomorrow morning again. No, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. But yeah, credit, credit to the management. I think since since I came back, um, we just I just want to get back. I've always told you guys, and just the environment when I came back, it's just just you just feed off it. Uh, it's, a, it's a good group. It's good management, and we just you're just happy. But um, I think it comes with wins as well. But um, yeah, but feed into that, that's why we're winning, because we're, we're a happy group and we're willing to work, work with each other and yeah, I, I don't want to be that guy to let the guy next to me down. Mm. Dylan, uh, you kind of just answered the question I was going to ask you, Dion, but yeah, uh, just your thoughts on like, having been through the highs and lows of sort of storms and Western province rugby in your first and uh, what does it mean to you to be able to sort of contribute to... Yeah, exactly, uh, yeah, exactly what I said. I think uh, we're a happy group and we, we know each other. We, we, if, if, if you slack down on defence or whatever, you know you're going to drop the guy next to you and you don't want to do that. And we're, we're a happy group and you know um, that that's, that's what, what's giving our success at the moment. We, we know what it takes to, to be a successful team at the moment. After the last URC, we, we know we have to put in the hard, work, hard yards. The, the work that you don't see on the TV, um, there's lots of guys that Dobba showed, uh, Nietling and, and uh, Willy, uh, Willy Engelbrecht just doing work that's outside the camera that, that no one sees, but that, that's just the core and the value of the team at the moment, and you have to feed off that. If, you, if, you're, not, if you're not, you're just going to get, get sideswiped and you're not, not going to be part of the group anymore. Dion, um, just, uh, you were early on um, keeping your Marley in check. Um, <laughs> was he a bit of a today? Um, yeah, we all know Joe Marley. He, he tries to get under your skin. and. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not that oak that likes to, if you get under my skin, <laughs> it gets under my skin sometimes. But uh, yeah, you know, he's, he's a quality player, that's, a, that's what makes him, makes him good as well. But uh, yeah, I think I answered my question. And, and, and just Stephen, maybe you can chip in as well, that on the five meter line of you were over the ball, you were held in by the neck, was that ever checked or was it just the ref just said play off? It was me. Uh, deal. And he was trying to steal yeah, I think the game is so fast. I think if you if you got slow slow the game down millisecond by millisecond, you're gonna get a penalty at each ruck and stuff. So it happens. The red blue one, they they are rolled me on the neck on our try line. Um, it happens. It's it's a game. It's getting faster. It's so much difficult for the ref, but uh, it happens. That's why that's why you play rugby. You know what you're gonna put yourself into every time you walk on that field. And yeah, that's the game, and that's why we love the game as well. How well will the, if you have to travel to yeah. Exeter, will that influence your thinking on the squad? Will big your C guys to follow yeah, the yeah. Rico, it's quite a juggling game. Yeah, it could be tough because I think depending, I can't remember who must win for which one must win between La Rochelle or Gloucester for us to play on Sunday. To play on Sunday down in Exeter to get back here for a Munster is going to, and that's going to, you know, we are under pressure there for that second spot, mm -hmm. you know, to get the home. So, but I mean, I think. Obviously, the Heineken Cup, uh, it's, it's, it's a prestigious, it's the Tulum. So we'll go, we, we'll just have to get through it. You know, um, maybe if we do tweak, it's for Munster, and back some of our guys who played URC to get, to, get us, uh, to get us through a home win there and against Benetton. But we'll go full noise for, uh, what, you know, to Exeter. Well, right. do, you, do you guys have to read, do you, um, is this a big sort of goal to get to the quarterfinals and now you reset your goals? I'm not feeling the way that you've reached um, a point that you need to reset, or is it always a, you're always confident that perhaps you can go, you know, go further than I thought this 
Yeah, I think uh, with the mentality of this team and, and the way the guys are actually trying to play and perform, I think for us is the ultimate goal to be to go all the way. So I think resetting, well, like this <laughs> top always shows a, a photo in the in the um, in the meetings, like uh, uh, Stormers versus uh, Toulouse. Um, and it can cup final, so that's something we work towards. It's, it's we want to go as far as possible in, in, we can in this tournament. And um, to be honest, these guys will go out fighting every weekend um, and try and get get all the way and trying to get the the cup. And similar to the URC, we'll keep fighting all the way to to get into that final and and hopefully play one of the best games we can. Sorry, I missed the last thing. Um, the crowd today was a record attendance. I mean, post COVID. Um, just any word on that? Well, the players, yeah, and coaches. Well, it was better. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was incredible. It <laughs> was just to see the people in the stands and cheering, and you can actually hear like the like the volume increasing when we do something well, and how quiet it becomes when Ole can score the try. So no, it's just uh, kept on uh, fans and faithful. It's just absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think um, yeah, a lot of people. A lot of stuff going around in Cape Town as well. I think we could have filled it up, but I think Keith Moore is playing at Grand West tonight, so <laughs> <laughs> there's, an, there's another, there's another 20,000 that could have come tonight, and there's Afrikaans Festival at Mirandal tonight as well, so if that wasn't happening, we could have, could have filled, the, filled the stand. So, so if Montpellier wins, um, uh, Gordon Neil Lewis should cancel all the events that's uh, happening this week. <laughs> Cool guys, thank you very much, and we'll see you all at Hoppers 9 for the Curry Cup Press. Thank you guys.